Image here for 60 seconds with James. I hope you all were very well. Uh, so I've got a couple of good questions uh, for you today. So let me run through them. Look, uh, Katie asks, what is one of the best exercises for females to do to tone legs? Um, and uh, she says, I know you can't spot reduce, but I'm after tone. Uh, well, that's good. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're where you can't spot reduce. Look, the best thing to toning your legs is you're going to be doing your squats and your lunges as well. Um, now, look, I'm going to actually leave a link below. And that's just actually going to take you to my website, um, and, it, and it's got a library of exercises, and in there you've got your body weight squats and you've got your lunges as well, so um, that'll show you the correct form to do that. Also, uh, in that exercise library, you're going to have what's called a pistol squat, which is a single-legged squat. Um, now, I'd recommend doing that one. Um, that will develop an incredible amount of tone throughout the legs. Um, Repetition-wise, look, keep it high. Keep it at a high level of repetitions, um, but um, you should uh, combine high reps um, with a lighter weight, so your body weight, uh, with low reps uh, with a heavier weight. So you would then do weighted squats and weighted lunges, that kind of thing. Uh, another question, uh, Kate's got a second question. It says, I know that certain foods boost metabolism, um, such as green chili, uh, sorry, such as chili and green tea. Can you suggest any more? Yeah, look, absolutely. I've got two pearlers. Uh, number one is uh, water. It's as simple as that, guys. You know, you're, if you are not hydrated, your body will go into the uh, fight or flight, and meaning that if your body's thirsty and you are exercising, you're training, your body's you know trying to lose weight, uh, and actually goes, well, hang on. I'm really thirsty right now. Um, I'm a little bit of a panic mode. I don't know what to do. I'm not going to let any of this fat go. I'm going to store it. I'm going to hold on to it uh, because that's its energy source, of course. So um, keep hydrated. That's the most important thing. Um, you know, by drinking water in the morning, you know, five to six hundred mils of, of cold water in the morning will actually really boost your metabolism and get your day started off really well. So that's one of them. The second one is my favorite, and that is cinnamon. Now, cinnamon's been used uh, for centuries um, for all different kinds of uh, remedies from everywhere, from uh, cramping uh, to diarrhea um, and uh, now fat loss, of course. So let me explain a little bit about that. So what cinnamon does, it actually increases the insulin levels in your body and lowers your blood sugar. So you, if your blood sugar is going up and down, that means you're putting on weight. You want to keep your blood sugar really consistent. So it really helps with leveling that out. You know, So you can add uh, some cinnamon to your coffee and oats. Have a guess what's in here. <laughs> um, you know, it, it, cinnamon also helps to process carbohydrates. Um, so obviously that helps quite a lot with the body. Uh, and look, and, and how's this for good news? Studies have actually shown um, that cinnamon um, is more sensitive to targeting abdominal fat as opposed to any other fat anywhere across the body. How awesome is that? Um, which is really, really good. Um, you know, cinnamon also influences the way that sugar is metabolized in the body and prevents um, that sugar um, turning into fat. So cinnamon is excellent. Um, now, the key to having cinnamon is not to have a lot of it. Um, sprinkle a little bit in your coffee, um, on your oats, um, that kind of thing. Do not have a teaspoon of cinnamon. I certainly do not recommend it that. Uh, if you actually have too much cinnamon, it can be quite harmful to you. So don't do that. Um, you want to aim for about um, a fifth of, of a teaspoon every serving and, and don't have more than half a teaspoon throughout the day. Okay, and lastly, Gina's got a question, um, best exercise to lose back fat and to correct a bad posture like round and shoulders. Okay, so um, well, this is actually going to tie into a little bit of what Katie's question is, is that, uh, you know, you can't spot reduce. Unfortunately, I can't give you an exercise, Gina, where you're going to absolutely, you know, you're going to lose body fat from around your back. So what I recommend um, is looking at your diet, you know. You already know that, I'm sure you already do, and people have already told you that as well. So look at your diet, and look at your exercise, look at your training as well. Keep it at a high-intensity interval training, uh, combine it uh, with weight training, and just your regular cardio training as well. And that's, all, and that's all that you can really do to cover that. Once you're looking at your diet, you've got your high-intensity cardio and your lifting weights, your body will tone down in all areas. I'm sorry, we can't spot reduce. If, if I had the answer to spot reduce, I'd be gazillionaire. <laughs> um, and also uh, how to correct a bad posture. Look, bad posture, um, it's all about habit. Now, you've really, really got to focus on every time you're sitting, your shoulders are back and chest out, okay? 
roll the shoulders and lock them down here. Have a really good posture. Be proud of the way that you're sitting. It's something you've got to be conscious of the whole time. You know, try sitting on a Swiss ball, one of those big balls there. Now, obviously, you know, you need to correct your balance on there, so you that will make you actually sit up, and you know, it'll it'll remind you to do that, uh, and that's the way to go. And also, if you've got rounded shoulders, you know, that means that you actually need to do more back exercises. Um, so you'll need to focus on that, and that will be um, single arm dumbbell rows. It will be lap pull downs, um, and um, it'll be barbell rows and that kind of thing. Again, if you follow the link below, that will take you to my exercise library, and you'll be able to see some of the exercises there that will help um, with that. Um, um, and that's the best way to do it. And also another point, just kind of thinking of then, is to focus on stretching out your chest. So what you need to do, so you find a doorway, get your arm up here doors from your elbow to your hand, just put your weight on that and then just take your weight forward and turn away and you'll feel a really strong chest, uh, stretch through your chest. Because your shoulders are rounded, these muscles will be very tight, so we need to really open them out. Okay, once you're stretching as well, just take your hand, just find your collarbone, and underneath your collarbone, just rub around the back of them forwards. It might be a little bit tender, because I'm sure you'd be a little bit tight, but just keep doing that, and that'll help with your stretch. So, you know, try and do that a couple of times a day aim to hold that for around 20 to 30 seconds each side and you'll find that that's really going to open up your shoulders a lot more um, there'll be less stress stress through here and you'll be able to sit more comfortable okay so guys um there we go that's it for uh today um i hope i help with answering these questions please guys next week um uh, i will be filming again so leave your questions below feel free to um send me a private message if um if you don't want it on the page and um i'll chat to you very soon see you guys